Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial we are going to be making a full vinyl wrap peekaboo. There's quite a bit of steps to go over with this one so we're just going to jump right in. I'm using a 24 plump from the Steel Magnolia and I just have some acrylic paints here. I'm going to mix in some glitter glue from the Crystalite Company with my acrylic paints so it gives it a longer dry time and a little extra adhesive for my glitter to stick to. Our glitter that we are using is Chanel from PDB Creative Studio. It has a lot of different colors in it as well as some silvers and golds. So I'm not gonna be too concerned about extreme coverage. I just want a little bit of a base. I'm just using a flat two inch brush or maybe it's one and a half inch, I'm not sure but a flat brush really gives you good coverage and good brush strokes. Another thing that you can use that I did not have on hand at this time is a makeup brush. I have learned from watching lots of little clips and tutorials from other makers that the makeup brushes work really, really well and give you amazing coverage even on one coat of paint. We added our glitter glue into our acrylic paint, so I'm gonna go straight in with my glitter. The pattern vinyl that we are using is this really cute bumblebee and sunflower design from Gracefully Created. It is a little bit of a busy pattern and pretty bright colors, so I wanted to choose a glitter that I knew was gonna stand out from that. Once we glittered the entire tumbler, I took a piece of printer paper and rolled my tumbler in it to make sure that our glitter is nice and flat so that we have as less coats of epoxy on top of this as possible since we are going to do a peekaboo and that requires some additional layers. I allowed this to dry for four hours and gave it two good coats of Rust-Oleum Matte Clear and two coats of a little extra ink epoxy to get a smooth surface. Now over in Design Space, we're going to add a square shape, unlock the dimensions and put that to 9.5 by eight. That's the dimensions of my tumbler. I changed it to gray so we could see the design that we are putting on top. Added in my little hexagon shape and sized it to one and a half inches wide. I have four of these in each of my little honeycomb clusters. So I just duplicated and then placed them side by side, making sure that the space in between each was the same. Once I had these where I wanted them, I moved that gray background out of the way and highlighted all four of my hexagons and attached. Then I highlighted them once again and clicked my offset and set my offset to 0 0.045. I moved them off of my offset, welded them together, and then put them back, highlighted both images, and selected slice. This is going to give us that offset border. Once that was complete, I just deleted the additional one that we do not need and duplicated each of these four times. We're just going to move those four offsets over to the side as they are not going to be part of the pattern vinyl image and just place the little clusters around in the areas that you like. I started in the top left corner and just alternated them and sort of moved them around a little bit so they wouldn't be so put together, I guess you can say. Once I had them where I wanted them, I just highlighted everything and clicked attach. I loaded my pattern vinyl onto my Cricut mat and cut. 
And as for the offset, that was on a second sheet with the antique gold textured vinyl from Tech Wrap Craft. Now, attempting to wrap a tumbler with the transfer tape and doing a full wrap like this with some detail in it didn't work. So, I tried a new trick. I have Queen Bee from PDB Creative Studio on this tumbler, and this is also one of the pattern vinyls from Gracefully Created. I have a bowl of water, and as you can see, I peeled my vinyl off and I am putting it down in the water just like I would a water slide. I'm gonna take my Dawn Power Wash, wet the cup, spritz a little bit of Dawn Power Wash on here. You can also use Windex, or you can use a little dab of dish detergent. Just place your wrap on your tumbler and line it up where you would like. This doesn't in any way affect the adhesive that is on the back of your vinyl. It just really dampens it and allows you to maneuver it in the way that you need to to get it to go on your tumbler. As you can see, there is a little bit of a gap, so we're going to also learn how to fix that when you cut your vinyl just a little bit too short. Once I have my vinyl in place, I'm going to take this little silicone tool. I'll link it below for y'all. Just got it from Amazon and squeegee all of the excess water out. Now the vinyl that I'm using is matte removable vinyl. And that has a lot to do with how simple, I, I guess you would call this, <laughs> it is to get this to lay flat and use the squeegee to get all of that excess water out from underneath it. Using a permanent and glossy vinyl, it is more prone to scratches and the permanent is gonna leave residue behind if that sticks down to your cup. I just took a rag and dried off any excess water that I could. And then we're gonna come in with a heat gun on a low setting and make sure that you are back from your tumbler. If you're too close or if your heat is too high, you are going to risk shrinking your vinyl up and damaging it. So if it's too hot on your hand as you are moving and pinching your vinyl to close that gap, then it is too close or too hot. And all this does is heats your vinyl up just enough for you to stretch it. And the heat is going to cause the adhesive that is underneath to stick and stay where you pull it. Now, if you are doing this with a seamless design, it is gonna be a lot more difficult to get that to line up if you were stretching your vinyl. This is it does at times create a little bit of excess and of course that's going to warp your seamless design. I trimmed off that excess on the bottom with my really awesome craft knife and if you've seen my past tutorials you know that I use just the craft blade without the handle. It stressed my husband out as much as it did y'all so he cut me the really awesome knife that I used to cut off the excess. I love it and I will never go back to using a regular craft knife again. I'll link it below for y'all if you want to check it out too. So all I am doing here is applying a little bit of heat, not a lot, to the top and bottom rims of the tumbler and making sure that my vinyl is pressed down really well and getting any remaining excess water out from underneath my wrap. This helps speed up the dry time just a little bit since we did use water underneath it. And it also pretty much, I guess you can say like shrink wraps it to the tumbler. Now I peeled my offsets <laughs> right off. You can use transfer tape if that helps you line it up better. It did probably take me a little bit longer just to eyeball it like this. So I make things difficult. I applied them to all four little clusters and then I went back in with the, so I added the additional full vinyl hexagons on here just to make it stand out a little bit more without adding a decal on here. And make sure you save all of your extra hexagons from your vinyl wrap and the textured vinyl 
sparkles those would be really cute on just a glitter tumbler and give a reverse effect of this design Once I had all of my vinyl on, I washed the tumbler off and then dried it once again to get any of the soap that was still remaining on there off. And I allowed it to dry for about four hours just to make sure that there wasn't any particles of water underneath my vinyl that would cloud my epoxy. And then I added two final layers of epoxy both probably about 15 milliliters a piece. I like to keep my layers of epoxy thin if at all possible so that the cups are lighter and I have lower risk of getting the little butts on the top and bottom of my tumblers. And that is all for this tutorial. As always, all of the items that I use will be down in the description below, as well as some discount codes for y'all. These turned out even better than I imagined, and I am so in love with this design, and I can't wait to try more peekaboo designs with vinyl. I am super excited to announce that we will have a website beginning January 22nd of 2022. We will be doing a tumbler drop and these two tumblers will be available. Our website will be listed in the description and I will give all updates across our social media on Instagram. We also have a Facebook shop page and group. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell in the corner to be notified anytime a new tutorial drops. Thank you all so much. We'll see you next time.